Today, we are going to learn a new portion from the chapter, The Rise of Nationalism in Europe. Before that, if you are remaining to subscribe my channel, please uh, subscribe my channel, like and share too. Today, we are going to learn the portion visualizing the nation. So visualizing means having some kind of image in your mind. So how the concept of nation was visualized during early days. While it is easy enough to represent a ruler through a portrait or a statue, how does one go about giving a face to a nation? It is very easy to make a portrait. It is very easy to make a statue if a real person exists. But if a real person does not exist, how you will visualize that thing? How you will visualize a person? Artists in the 18th and 19th centuries found a way out by personifying a nation. They considered nation as a person. They started giving the image of a person to the nation. They started personifying a nation. It started from 18th century. In other words, they represented a country as if it were a person. So that is the word meaning of personifying. Okay. This, if a country is a person, how it would look like? During our national movement, India, Bharat was personified as Bharat Mata. Okay. So same thing was applied to many countries around the world. Nations were then portrayed as female figures, not male figures. Nations were shown as female figures. The female form that was chosen to personify the nation did not stand for any particular women in real life. Rather, it sought to give the abstract idea of the nation a concrete, concrete form. The female form, the picture, the painting, the statue, whichever was created, it, it was not a, it's not based on a woman in real life. It was like an imaginary figure. And why the imaginary figure was created? To have the nationalists, to increase the feeling of nationalism among the masses to increase the nationalist feeling, patriotic feeling among the people. For that purpose, they created female figures. So it wanted to give the abstract idea, not a concrete idea, an abstract idea of the nation. That is the female figure became an allegory. What do you mean by allegory? It is, uh, for instance, for giving an abstract idea, not the real idea, but an approximate idea. For example, greed, envy, jealousy, freedom, liberty, all these uh, things or all these feelings, all these principles can be expressed, can be given out through a person or a thing. Okay, you can create a person, you can make a thing and you can just symbolify. This symbolifies this in that way. The allegorical story has two meanings. One is literal meaning and another one is symbolic. Okay, so one is the true meaning. If you are seeing a thing, if you are seeing a book, or if you are seeing a pot, or if you are seeing a statue, what does it really mean? Okay, so who does it represent? And another one is symbolify, symbolic. Okay, like tricolor flag. Okay, saffron symbolifies what? Ashok chakra symbolifies what? In that way. So one is the literal meaning, the real meaning, and the another one is the symbolic meaning. You will recall that. During the French Revolution, artists used female allegory to portray, to show ideas such as liberty, justice, and republic. These ideals were represented through specific objects or symbols. So we have learned French Revolution in class nine. At that time, female allegory was used to show uh, the ideals, to show the principles like liberty, justice, and republic. Okay, that is a female figure was created and all these symbols were worn by the female figure and through that female figure only they showed the ideas of they explained the ideas of liberty justice and uh, republic 
i think you will be remembering these ideals were represented through specific objects or symbols as you would remember the attributes of liberty are the red cap or the broken chain while justice is generally a blindfolded woman carrying a pair of weighing scales so the pictures are here broken chains red cap and a woman carrying weighing scales okay. so liberty then justice so these were the symbols used to denote those principles similar female allegories were invented by artists in the 19th century to represent the nation so same things were adopted or same uh, female allegories were created invented by the 19th century artists to show the spirit of nationalism to show the spirit of patriotism so that is very very important why they created female allegories so female allegories were created to increase the feeling of nationalism to increase the feeling of patriotism for that purpose only they created female allegories so you can see here postage stamps of 1850 with figure marian representing the republic of france okay so we will learn about marian in the coming section in france she was christian she was named marian a popular christian name which underlined the idea of a people's nation so this is marian okay so she was given the name marian like our bharat mata her characteristics were shown from those of liberty and republic the red cap tricolor cockade cockade means the knot of ribbons worn in a hat as a badge of office okay so this is the picture of a cockade so she was wearing red cap then tricolor that is a flag of france red blue and white so all these things were <coughs> shown as an allegory or uh, was uh, used to used to show the feeling of nationalism okay so in france it was named female allegory was named as uh, marian and it showed the idea of a people's nation so when we are seeing the statue of bharat mata we are having on a feeling is increased feeling for our nation is increased our patriotic feeling is at the highest level they same thing now statues of marian were erected were constructed were established in public squares public spaces to remind the public of the national symbol of unity and to persuade them to identify with it so uh, artists the leaders they all try to popularize these images okay for popularizing what did they do they erected they constructed all these images all these statues in public spaces or public squares to remind the people of the national symbol of unity so this represents our nation so salute salute the statue salute this portrait and it shows our unity and they compelled them they persuaded them to identify identify the spirit of nationalism with that image okay so if you want to stay united if you want to stay strong identify this as our nation marian images were marked on coins and stamps similarly germania became an became the allegory of the german nation so uh, marian for france and her images were erected her uh, statues were erected in public squares her images were uh, shown on stamps coins etc in the same way in germany uh, germania was used as an allegory so germania wears a crown of oak leaves as the german oak stands for heroism so you can see here you know, what she is wearing she is wearing oak leaves that shows heroism okay german oak stands for heroism so she is wearing oak leaves so you can see there okay, she is wearing oak leaves okay so visual representation germania wears a crown of oak leaves and german oak stands for heroism now broken chains so you can see here some of the other images broken chains you can see here the broken chains then breastplate with uh, eagle 
that also you can see then crown of oak leaves that i have already shown you again sword olive branch black red gold tricolor rays of rising sun so all these images are here sword flag crown everything is over here let us see the meaning of all these things broken chains being freed you are free breastplate with eagle symbol of german empire their strength crown of oak leaves as we learned stands for heroism sword stands for the readiness to fight you are ready to fight olive branch around the sword willingness to make peace black red and gold tricolor flag of liberal nationalists in 1848 banned by dukes of german states that is st paul church liberals all assembled they wanted to create the state of germany at that time they designed this flag then rays of the rising sun beginning of a new era beginning of a new uh, period that is what it shows so germany it was designed by philip viet the artist prepared this painting of germany on a cotton banner on a cotton cloth as it was meant to hang from the ceiling of the church of saint paul where the frankfurt parliament was convened in march 1848 as you remember in march 1848 liberal nationalists wanted to declare germany as a nation and they assembled over there for making the constitution now the questions which can be asked from this portion are who were marian and germania what was the importance of the way in which they were portrayed so hopefully you understood this portion if you have understood this portion please like share subscribe my videos okay. so if you subscribe my video you will get the latest updates thank you so much